It's Apple Music Beats 1. Make sure you pick up Beach House 3 out October 27. Todd Dollar Sign is here. Why? You know, in a time where people are putting out 11 and 12 and it feels like people have shrunk their playlist on the album. Yeah. Why? I mean, obviously. you look at the playtime and it's like 36 minutes. Yeah. Well, why did you decide <laughs> to go and do a longer album? Because you just have so because much. Because I'm good and they suck. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Is that the real reason? To flex? Yeah, Was it a flex? It's not a flex. It's just like we make so much music and I felt like this is a great body of work that you could just play from the top to the end wherever you at. So that's how I'm doing it. Have yeah. you picked up any new talents? I know you as a bass player, a, a producer in the, in, with regard to drum programming and sampling and playing the bass but yeah. and also sing. Actually, I thought you could sing. I didn't know you could sing though, and we'll get to when I saw you. I at at uh, what was that? We was at Governor's Ball. Yeah, when we had matching hoodies on, and yep. I almost went home because we was wearing the same Michael Jackson Supreme hoodie, <laughs> and I was like, Fuck, I got the same clothes on. It's Todd yeah, Dallas. I look like a clown right now. I was thinking the same thing, having the same thing on the shoe. You feel me? <laughs> but but um, what other new talents have you um, embarked on as an artist? I would just say my singing. Is getting better and better because I'm singing more and I'm not afraid to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, that was like one of the first times people really saw me come out and just go crazy um, on with Governor's Ball. With Chance. That was really so. I was there. Yeah, you was there, and like that's what I wanted to do with this Beach House Three album, just show off more singing because I kept on getting confused with some guy named Ty Dolla Sign, the rapper. But I feel like there's not one Ty Dolla Sign song that you can name where I'm just doing a full on rap. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't rap. I sing or sing whatever, you know. Yo, we was hitting whatever runs. You like you was in your at, household. You was like it was like <laughs> Sunday morning, eleven o'clock service singing with Chance. I, mean, the I feel like that's what Chance's whole vibe facts, is. Like facts. he's like Man. Church on Sunday. For real. Your auntie's cheering you on, talking about take your time and yeah. all that's happening. It's, it's like the biggest praise and worship show ever <laughs> it is it is. and uh he kills it and it was an honor to be up there with my bro i've seen him come from his first mixtape acid rap until now and like he's out of here man so it's, it's just good to see one of the people with real talent on top you and the dream coming together for me as a fan of music you guys are probably two of the most respected young r&b um aficionados yeah. in the game, Thank right? You. Like when it comes to really putting together an R&B record that is reminiscent of things we felt in the 80s and 90s. I would even say both you and The Dream have fathered in R&B sounds and styles. Yeah, it's really like, even how I do my albums, um, coming up to albums like Dr. Dre, The Chronic, One and Two, or Doggy Style, or The Dream's first album, like you see how it's like from the first song to the last song, everything just flowed into each other. Yeah. And like that's how I like to model my albums around like his first album. So it was a, a great thing to be able to work with him. I had Still. met Dream while working on um Kanye's project and um I had got his number then, hit him back up, he came in. We were supposed to do three days. We ended up doing two days and those those first two days we made fifteen songs. Wow. And then um I pick Love You Better is my first single. So shout out to everybody that's out there um, slapping that Love You Better. This record right here, y'all pay attention to it. What is the inspiration for Love You Better? What is that record? That record sounds like something to me. And I know you you pull from multiple places, but if yeah. there's a record that we should go and learn from that kind of gave us that record. I mean, you? it would be Mary J, the queen. She had a, a, a similar song. Yeah. We got the melody, the lyrics, all yeah, that yeah, from Mary yeah. J. Um, I think LL Cool J had a song called Love You Better yes, as well, yeah. but it's like completely different. But um, this shout out to Mary J. Um, definitely one of my biggest inspirations in the game. Would you say that right now you're in a space where you're pulling because um, there's several records you've decided to do more sampling. You've yeah. decided to bring like, yo, no, we can't forget these records from this time. Yeah. And I'm pulling these forward with us. Like with me. I see what everybody else is doing, right? I was talking about it earlier, how I feel like since Pierre came out, the producer, and like uh, Cardi, you know, um, I feel like everybody's going after that sound. I feel like when me and Mustard were out um, a couple years back, everybody was going after that sound. Yeah, so what I'm trying to do is just go a completely different way from what everybody's doing. I understand that there's only A through G on the piano, and then it repeats. So it's always going to repeat. You, 
like it's not much you could do with music right so it's time to like take it to somewhere that everybody else is not going and uh happen to fall in to this 112 <laughs> you feel me yeah. my homie bongo uh hit making all them gave me this beat and originally it was the 112 flip but on a mustard type vibe and i'm like nah man let's just take it all away if we're gonna go there yeah. so um we messed around with the beat and got it right and everybody's going crazy over that x so shout out to yg this is our first time having a single since tooted and booted and we came in the game wow. with tooted and booted you know what i mean wait so, time out time out time out yeah. time out time out time out time out this is the first time y'all had a single since yeah. that record yeah. and that record for la breaking out of the west coast was a pivotal change in music in los angeles wasn't yeah. it how many records was birthed off the sound that you that initial movement of tooted and booted i feel like i mean rack city was in there right because that, yep. that, um, that was definitely a yg thing that tiger went and got and you know what i'm saying that sound i remember when uh mustard first did that beat he pulled up on me on like la brea and 21st at this time, I had stopped doing beats. I did the beat to the and booted and like a lot of the YG stuff at the time. But when my homie Jacasso had passed away, I had stopped doing beats. I just was like discouraged or some shit. So then um, Mustard pulled up on me. He was like, yo, I'm about to pass you up on these beats. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Next thing you know, he came with Rack City. He came with, what, three years worth of top 10 hits? Damn, like, <laughs> name, I mean, the list yeah. is long. Yeah, so shout out Mustard and seeing his come up was amazing. Like. Just from literally the guy at the at the crap table, or you know what I'm saying? You taught like, mustard how to produce. Yeah. People forget that you're the one that was like, "Nah, get to." I you was cooking, and he learned from you. Yeah, yeah, man. And then he tried to put you to sleep. Nah, he didn't try to put me to sleep. We all came back <laughs> no, and just... got each other, and we all on top. You feel me? So shout out mustard, shout out YG. <laughs> Talk to me about collaborating with Damian Marley and Skrillex. I like how this record came out. I always wanted to work with Skrillex if you pay attention to like all my work. The original Cabana was when I sampled Skrillex and Zed and Mint Condition and blended it all together as one thing. But now on Beach House 3, I got the actual Skrillex in the studio. And like one thing I love about Skrillex, not dissing nobody, just being completely honest, like... He actually is hands on. He actually comes in and does his own beat. When you go to do the paperwork, there's not like three or four dudes that you have to clear because who you got the beat from didn't really do the beat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he comes in, does the beat from scratch, mixes the vocals, wanted to mix the whole record, everything. Like it's just time. We didn't all have that much time. Yeah. But then he made up for that and came back and we did all the interludes together. So shout out Skrillex, one of the dopest out here for real. Wait, all the interludes on the whole project? Yeah. Wow, we, so he's cooked into the whole body of work. Yeah, man. <laughs> yep, shout out to Skrillex, Mike Dean, uh, Pooh Bear. Who else is on there? James Royo, my engineer, wow, also makes beats. Deep Mile, the original. Royal and Mike yeah. Dean. Um, Damian Marley is one of the most incredible artists, men, just one of the dopest people, period, um, out there. And for him to be on my record, that's just like an honor, man. Shout out to him and his whole team. Also, I also did a record for him that we're going to drop soon, too. So I'm excited about that. It was dope to just get in there. We got to get to Dawson's break. We've been talking about it. I've heard of Dawson's Creek. I'm assuming that the B is some letter change thing that people enjoy doing now. Um, but the bloody B. <laughs> all of that. Hey, look, but look, um, Dawson's Break, of course, I had to change the name so I wouldn't get into legal issues. Yeah. Um, Dawson's is spelled completely different. Yep. And... Um, Creek, not creek. Do you see yourself on this go round? I haven't seen you perform in probably a year and a half. Well, I saw the uh, chance thing, but I was out you popping out on his thing. That wasn't your set. And now that you you spoke earlier about finding your singing voice and being more confident with it. Yeah. Uh, what are we gonna see on stage? A lot more singing. Me playing instruments. Okay. That's what I'm And I was the whole beach at. house vibe. It's just gonna be an experience this time. So just girls like laying around. You know what I mean? Not and bikinis and, and weed smoke. And it's going to be lit. It's going to be uh, an experience <laughs> for sure. I feel like before I just put out a lot of songs and a lot of, you know, just random here and there as I go. This time I'm making it an uh, experience that you can come to and like really feel what the Beach House is. I got a film that I'm releasing with Beach House as well. So you get to like see what beach house is and what it means i could tell you right now like i mean let's go beach house to me is like more 
of a metaphor for like success, playing to a higher existence. Like um, when you have, when you meet your goals and, and, and then you can even reach back and like show other people what it looks like and that it's possible, you know? So growing up, my mom and pops would take me, my brother and my sister to this lot in Palos Verdes. That's like this like area in California where you could see the water, the mountains, the city, everything all in one. And um, we would get out the car and, and walk on the property and she'd be like, oh, this is where the pool is gonna be. This is where the kitchen's gonna be. Me and my brother, oh, my room's gonna be here. No, my mm. room's gonna be here, da, 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 all that. And uh, my parents broke up. So, you know, of course that stopped, but I never let that dream go. Just like I never let my dream for this music go. And like when mm. people would be like, yo, you need to get a real job. I'll lose girlfriends, lose real friends, lose, family members get kicked out of the house, but I just kept on doing what I knew I was supposed to do. And um, it happened, so I'm right here with Ebro. And um, <laughs> I feel like anybody that really wants to do something can do it. I know people say that all the time, but it's like, no, nah, you really gotta want to do it though. Was it a conscious decision to go with the brim? Was there a, like a, did you sit down at this time? He was like, ah, I wanna, I wanna do some sort of Head ornament. Oh. Have you talked to Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis about the brand? You know, it's funny. Uh, recently, when we were doing the uh, Beach House film, before I did it, my, my one of my managers told me, yo, you should watch Purple Rain. Have you ever seen Purple Rain by Prince? And I'm like, no, I know I sound, I know I sound dumb. Whoa. Sorry, I just never, no Whoa. one ever showed me. Whoa. So I finally I finally watched it. Changed it was life. one of the greatest movies ever. And um, I found out that Terry Lewis was in the group uh, the time the time and that shit tripped me out and then I went back and listened to all the time it's because I used to love all the rhythm nations and all the you know but you hadn't Jam gone before that I didn't know that everybody starts somewhere you feel me so them dudes is like some of the funkiest on the planet and um wow he was right here in my face I got his number he said he wants to work with me we still haven't got in but I plan to definitely just see what comes of, of that yeah man do that um Ty Dolla Sign thank you sir Thank you. Um, I love you so much. Keep going. Love you, bro, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Shout out to everybody out there that's listening. Make sure you pick up that beach house.